Okay, I'm going to, um, in a previous video, I showed how we scoured or washed this wool um, from a sheep named Jack that was right off of the sheep. We got it all nice and clean and fluffy. And then there are a couple of different ways of preparing it for spinning. I could pull it apart, kind of fluff it out, and spin right from the lock. Use this right into my spinning wheel or a spindle. Uh, I can comb, comb it out and make long strips of roving, or I can card it and make it into roll logs. So what we do is we load up the cards. These are called wool cards. And they're, they're more like brushes. So if you think of combing and brushing, <laughs> um, we'll just fluff it up a little bit, load up the card. I'll hold the loaded card in my left hand and I'll work with my right hand and we don't want to bash the teeth together. There's little metal teeth on this carding cloth but I want to grab from the end and pull, gently pull and um, do this several times until I transfer the wool from my left hand to my right hand. Again, I'm not bashing the teeth together. I'm trying to pull the wool into long, fluffy strips. See, it's getting fluffier over here instead of those nice, tight locks that I was starting with. Go a little slower. There we go. And then I'll switch hands and do it again. This will also open up the fibers and, and let any leaves and sticks fall out, or some of it. Um, this was a very clean fleece and didn't have much for, for sticks. There's a little, little piece of grass in this one. Because sheep are living creatures that live outside and sometimes get grass and sticks in their, in their wool, in their fleeces. And we'll go back this way. Then we do a quick swipe this way, kind of backwards, to get it all onto one. And I forgot to grab a knitting needle, so we often roll this off onto a, a stick, a dowel, or a knitting needle to make it nice and tight, but it can also be done by hand. And this creates a roll log for spinning, which is a little bit different than the the roving so this will make a, a sleeker tighter yarn and this will make a fluffier warmer yarn so this may you might want to have sleek sturdy yarn for socks that get a lot of wear and you might want the fluffier yarn for your sweater nice and warm. but that is how you prepare wool for spinning